Hello my brothers and sisters. God is moving me to make this video for you guys. And these are some of the words that he has spoken to me this morning. And this is what I said to the body of Christ. Okay. He's saying, I come quickly. He says, stand up for the truth. He's saying, watch what you say. He's also saying, do not put heavy burdens on the brethren, which you cannot do yourself. He's saying, be about the cleansing, the spiritual cleansing of your mind, your heart, and your, and your soul. He says, love and forgive. He says, do not remove yourself from the narrow road. For why is the road that leads to destruction? He's also saying, stay in the light. He says, he's saying, protect your eyes from anything that you look at. He's saying, do not waste your time. Be about my business. He's saying, love your enemies and forgive. He's saying, this is not a game. This is not a game. Pray in your mind, rebuke. I have given you the weapons for you guys to rebuke. He's saying, you are my children. You are more than protected. He says, as you preach the gospel, shine the light and shine the truth, because I am at the door. He's saying, this world will pass away, but my words abide forever. That's what he's saying. He's saying, tell people the truth because there are many deceptions. There's only one truth, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And if you have him today, he has his comforter, the Holy Spirit, upon you and in you and right before you to guide you towards all truth. Be blessed with his words. Understand that God wants us to abstain from all appearances of evil so that he sanctifies us so that we be prepared so that we meet the conditions so that keep he keeps him using us for his kingdom deeper in deeper things in deeper knowledge and deeper wisdom and and, and and works that are difficult more and more and more so that we bring in more and more glory you know god bless you guys the lord strengthen you in the name of jesus christ there's a brother uh in the comment section who was telling me about how this kid committed suicide he shot himself and he had a wife and a son that he had to provide for please pray for Sherry and pray for Taylon that's the little kid that was born and Sherry is the wife of this uh, individual who passed away who committed suicide that's very sad but please pray for him uh, for the baby and for the woman and for the family so that the Lord will send the Holy Spirit to comfort them some way or the other in the name of Jesus Christ be about the business of God because this earth is going to pass away the, the sky the heavens is going to pass away but those who abide in the word of God abide forever we want to be abiding forever with God stand up let God just brought this to my mind stand up though you may fall seven times the wicked only fall once and they fall into mischief. Fall seven times, get up. Doesn't mean the times, it, it don't matter the times you fall, what matters is the times you get up. And you do those things anymore. I bless you guys, the Lord strengthen you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is coming soon for us. Let's be about his business. He also is telling us not to speak too much about other people but to keep quiet in prayer praying for them because every word that we say in darkness we're going to bring that word he's going to bring that word in the light because he's he's light god is light in him there's no darkness at all every word that you speak in darkness you're gonna you're gonna proclaim he's gonna proclaim it out out on the housetops of heaven in the judgment day he's gonna bring them out so we don't want to partake of that shame I say this to myself and I say this to you guys to be mindful of that. The Lord bless you and strengthen you. In the name of Jesus, amen.